What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmarkTech.com and today we're actually gonna do something pretty freaking cool. I think it's cool at least, hopefully you guys think it's cool. We're actually gonna install Windows 98 on a modern day computer. We're not gonna install it on this computer behind me, we're actually gonna install it in a virtual instance on my computer. Now there's a program called VMware Workstation and it's a virtualization software. Use this software to install operating systems on your computer without physically installing them on the hardware. So we're gonna use VMware Workstation to install Windows 98. And I'm gonna make sure I give this uh, Windows 98 installation the highest uh, settings you can give it. The highest RAM, the highest CPU, the highest graphic settings possible. So we can max out this Windows 98 installation. And uh, I'm not gonna stop there. We're actually gonna install modern day programs on this Windows 98 uh, installation to see how Windows 98 deals with modern day programs. Programs we would use today like uh, YouTube, Minecraft, all these things that uh, we use today. I want to see how it runs on that uh, Windows 98 installation. Remember Windows 98 is a pretty old operating system. It was the operating system that was on my first computer that I purchased like 16 years ago. So the operating system alone is probably like close to 20 years old. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how this turns out. For me, this is a little bit of nostalgia because again, Windows 98 was the first operating system that I used. It was on the first computer that I purchased. So it was the operating system that got me into computers, loving computers and technology in general. So it's very nostalgic for me. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. All right guys, so now we're actually gonna install Windows 98 on our virtual machine. To do that, we need to install a software called VMware Workstation. It's a free software. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm using version 12. Depending on when you're watching this video, you might have a higher version. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to install this software because if you don't know how to install the software, then you shouldn't be watching this video. And the second thing you're going to need is a copy of the Windows 98 ISO file. I'm not going to show you where you can get your own because it is illegal. But if you get your own, then you're able to follow along with this video. Now, first things first, let's start this application. Click on the VMware Workstation desktop icon, start it up. Now we're going to create a new virtual machine. Click on create new virtual machine. Make sure that installer disk image file ISO is selected and browse for your ISO file. Mine's is here in the downloads folder. Yours could be wherever you downloaded it or have it. I'm gonna select it, open, then click on next. Now we're going to give our virtual machine a name. I'm going to keep mine Windows 98. Click on next. Now we got to select how much uh, space we want to reserve for our virtual machine, how much hard disk space. By default, I think it selects eight gigabytes. I'm going to keep it on eight gigabytes. We don't need any more than eight gigabytes. And make sure you select store virtual disk on a single file. Now click on next. Click on customize hardware here. First thing we're going to need to do is uh, jack up this uh, I'm sorry, RAM dial here. I, th I think Windows 98, you can't exceed one gigabyte. That's 1000 megabytes. So I'm gonna keep it just under one gigabyte, 1000 megabytes. And uh, we're gonna click on processor. I'm gonna keep it on uh, single core. My processor uh, has 16 threads and it's an eight core, but one core should be good enough. Now we're gonna click close, click on finish here. Now it should restart everything. Click on okay. Then click on I finished installing here on the bottom. Now click on the actual screen, scroll down, click on uh, the second option, boot from CD-ROM, hit enter. Click on start Windows 98 disk from CD-ROM again, click on enter. It should start the installation process. It's loading the BIOS now and it should start up the uh, actual installation process. Now we're gonna hit enter to start the setup. Now we're gonna hit enter again. Select uh, select enable large disk support, click on that, click enter. It's gonna restart the virtual machine again. Make sure you select uh, boot from CD-ROM again, hit enter. Scroll down, or actually keep it on start windows with uh, CD-ROM support, hit enter. Let it load. Now we're gonna hit enter again. Now it's actually uh, starting to transfer files to drive C. So it's not gonna boot from the ISO anymore, it's gonna boot directly from the hard disk. So. Make sure you click on continue here. Use your cursor, click on continue. And it's gonna start transferring those files. This is by far the fastest uh, Windows 98 installation I've seen. Uh, it used to take at least 45 minutes to an hour before when I, when I remember doing it. Now th this one is like zooming past the installation. Now VMware enables many features and improves tools. You just click on remind me later or don't just 
uh, ignore it. I'm gonna click on next because it's it's selecting the directory. We're gonna keep it drive C Windows directory by default. You can select your own directory, but you don't wanna mess with that. Just keep it the default C Windows directory. Click on next. Now it's preparing the directory. Select typical for the setup and click on next. Uh, click on install the most common components re recommended option here. I'm gonna click on that one. You can select, uh, show me the list of components and select your own. I'm gonna keep it simple, just select the first one that's recommended, click on next. You give your computer a name, I'm gonna call mine, uh, my name, let's give it my name, whatever. And you can select a uh, work group and computer description, I'm gonna leave those blank. Work group is selected by default. Now we're gonna select our uh, country of origin. By default, United States is selected, so I'm gonna keep United States. You can select your own country, click on next, click on next again, copy the files again. It says it should take about 24 minutes, but I think it's gonna be a lot faster than that. So I'm gonna come back when this part is finished. All right, it says thank you for registering your copy of Windows 98, and it's just about to finish copying the files. Installation is not finished, it's just finished copying the files. I'm gonna click on restart now. It's gonna restart the whole thing again. All right, so now we're gonna give our, ourselves a username. I'm just gonna keep it my name here. Click on next. You can name it whatever you want. Click on uh, accept the agreement here. Click on enter. All right, so this is the part where we enter our product key. I am going to enter mine, but I'm not gonna show you mine. So I'll see you once I finish entering it. All right, so I finished entering uh, the product key here. So now we're gonna click on finished. Click on finished. And it's now gonna install like drivers and all that stuff. So it should take another like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna come back once this part is finished. Now we're going to click on restart now. It's restarting again, and I don't think it's completely finished again. It has a few steps before it, it'll actually finish the installation. We can start using Windows 98. And I remember the, this installation taking like an hour, so <laughs> it's a lot faster than uh, what I remember. I think this installation is moving on pretty quickly because I remember the specs are maxed out, and I'm using an SSD, so everything is moving on a lot a lot quicker files are able to transfer a lot faster now again it's looking for hardware and plug and play devices to install now we're at the part where we select the date time zone and all that stuff so i'm going to keep everything the same i'm just going to click on close here let it finish now we're going to click on ok if you put in a password then type in your password but i didn't put a password so i'm just going to click on ok and it should start loading found new hardware monitor and all that stuff so it's like trying to uh, find uh, drivers for it and it'll update all the settings when you first install windows or where it first loads for the first time it does a lot of stuff uh, that won't happen when you when you load it the second time so that that's pretty much it for installing windows 98 on our virtual machine all right guys so this is uh, windows 98 here this is the start menu this is exactly the way I remember it. It's bringing back memories. My first computer I had had Windows 98 installed on it, and it's the computer that got me to love computers and technology in general. So it's bringing back a lot of memories, and it's exactly the way I remember it with the Windows update on top, programs underneath, and all the programs that it comes with uh, when you first install. Uh, let's see if it has, oh yeah, Paint. This was one of the programs I used to love to use because I used to love to draw. If you guys like to draw, this is pr pretty much one of the coolest uh, things you can do with Windows 98 at that time is uh, open up Paint and draw yourself a picture, you know, you paint something. It's it's pretty cool. So, it's, again, it's bringing back a lot of fun memories. Nostalgia levels through the roof here. <laughs> pretty cool. Everything is exactly the way I remember it. Now, I'm going to do another video where I uh, actually install some programs, more modern day programs like Chrome, like, uh, you know, we will be able to uh, watch YouTube videos on here, play Minecraft and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's, uh, this video is going to be pretty pretty long enough with without that installation stuff. But uh, there will be a part two to this video where I install all the cool stuff that you would use on a modern day computer today. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you dislike the video, give me a dislike. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Ristin from RonSmartTech.com and thank you for watching.